In the previous video, I gave you your final task for this module, and I asked you to add in the concept of three lives to this game, so that every time you eat that red poison fish, you lose a life, and once you lose three lives, the game is over. That makes it a much more interesting game. You actually have a more meaningful comparison between two scores. So let's add that in. I think there are lots of ways that you could have done it, so please don't take what I'm about to show you as the only way to do this. This is just the way that I think uh, uh, made make sense to me. So I'm going to go in and add data for the number of lives, right? So let's add in a variable called lives. And just like I did before, we're going to go back to the stage and we're going to say that when the game starts, I want to set the lives to three, right? And so we want to set the lives to three now when the game starts, right? We've got three lives up there and we want to be able to keep going until that we get down to zero lives. Well, how do we lose lives? by getting the bad fish. And so there's a couple ways of doing this. We could come right into here and, and change lives here whenever we touch the shark. Uh, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say, since I'm already making this broadcast of touching shark, I'm going to do all the management of my lives from the stage. I'm going to have the stage do this, that when the stage finds out that it's touching, that hears that the, the bad fish is touching the shark, then I want to change my lives by negative one. I want to lose a life, right? And so we'll do that there. And again, I'm going to do all my management of lives here. The final thing that I want to do is to have a loop in here that says when the green flag is clicked, I want you forever to ask the question, does the lives equal zero? In fact, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. I'm not going to say does the lives, you know, equals zero, I'm going to say if lives is actually less than one. The reason I do that is on the off chance that somehow I lose a life and go to zero, and before the game detects it, it, uh, it, it loses a second life. Right? So I'm going to say if lives is less than one, that's a bad thing. I want the game to end. And so the simplest thing is just to do stop all, right? I mean, we won't even add in a message for this. I think this is the quickest and easiest way to get this going. All on the stage. Set the lives to three. When you hear the message that the shark and the bad fish are touching, reduce the life by one. And forever keep asking, is the lives less than one? And when it is, stop the game. Okay, so let's run that. And so, oops, almost caught the bad fish there, but I managed to avoid him. But I can get some points, and then we can touch the bad fish. He gets sick, lives goes to two. Lives goes to one and lives goes to zero and game is over. All right, and that's, so that's one very basic, simple way to put this in. You certainly could add more functionality with this. Congratulations, that's module four. You're now ready to find out what your final homework assignment is for module four. So move on to the next page in the, in the course and see what your homework assignment is.